Hello! In this lesson I'll talk about selecting a programming language to get started with. So let's go ahead and get started with the lesson. When you first get started, you should focus your development efforts on a single programming language. Once you become accomplished in one programming language, it's much simpler to learn a new language after this. Some of the most common platforms on the market today are the Microsoft.NET platform, Java from Oracle, and the LAMP platform. I refer to these as platforms since in many cases they're more than just a programming language. There are also some other platforms that are becoming more popular today, and I'll talk about those in a little bit more detail later. Now I'll go through each one of these platforms in more detail. One of the most popular platforms is the .NET framework from Microsoft. It's based on the .NET framework and it's used primarily for developing applications for the Windows operating system. Although recently Microsoft has developed a version of the .NET framework for cross-platform development, it's still primarily used for Windows-based development. One of the unique things about the .NET framework is it supports multiple programming languages such as C-Sharp, Visual Basic, F-Sharp, and others. C-Sharp is very similar to Java and it's one of the more popular languages supported by .NET. ASP.NET is the language used for web development. .NET can also be used to develop desktop applications, service development through WCF, and mobile applications. Microsoft has recently added much more support for mobile application development through some key acquisitions, such as Xamarin. Another popular platform on the market today is Java. Java was originally developed by Sun Microsystems, but that company was purchased by Oracle in 2010. Oracle now maintains and distributes Java products. Java is based on the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM. One of the unique things about Java is it can run on multiple operating systems. This means you can develop software for Windows machines, Linux machines, or the Apple iOS operating system. Java can also be used for web development through Java server pages. It can also be used to develop desktop applications, enterprise applications, and mobile applications through the use of Android Studio. The next platform we'll talk about is the LAMP platform. LAMP targets software development for the Linux operating system. LAMP utilizes the Apache web server, the MySQL database, and the PHP programming environment. All of these are free tools to be downloaded from the internet. You can purchase support contracts from commercial companies to help you run and maintain these environments. This software is very popular in university environments, nonprofit organizations, government organizations, and also some commercial applications. The free licensing cost is very popular for many organizations who choose to implement this software. There are also many other platforms out on the market today. These include languages such as Drupal, old or legacy language, languages such as COBOL, and new cloud-based platforms such as Salesforce.com and Microsoft Dynamics. However, the languages I covered earlier constitute the majority of the software de development market today. Software languages and techniques are constantly changing and you should be prepared to take advantage of new opportunities as they come about. Successful programmers engage as lifelong learners, so you should be aware if you pursue a career as a programmer, you'll be constantly required to learn new languages and techniques as they change. So with all this information, how can I choose a development language? Well, first you should review vendor information on the programming languages I've just described. You should see if any of the information there appeals to you and is something you might want to pursue as a career. Next, you should look at the local job listings to see which types of programmers are in demand in your area. You can talk to some local staffing agencies to get their recommendations to see what companies are hiring with a particular language. You could also check with some of your friends and family to see if they know uh, what languages are being used uh, at their workplace. Finally, you could check with local universities to see what languages they teach, and this also might be a good clue as to what languages are in demand in the local area. In summary, your first programming language will be highly useful in getting your first job. However, after that, things may change after you get your first job. Technology is constantly changing and there'll be opportunities to learn new technologies as they're rolled out. You should be prepared to take advantage of these new technology projects as they often lead to higher pay and possibly promotion opportunities. Don't worry about learning a second programming language. It's far easier after you've learned your first programming language. Remember, this is an industry that changes very quickly and you should expect change. 
This concludes this lesson. I hope it's given you some good thoughts on which programming language to choose for your training. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson.